there is a very good update about solid state batteries. Quantum Scape builds a 10 layer solid state battery and beats 2021 goals. Look what they announced few days uh, yesterday. Quantum Scape has recently revealed third party party tests with its single layer lithium metal solid state cells that confirmed and even excelled the results it achieved on its own evaluation. In February 2021, the company said it successfully tested four layer cells. You remember that? The next step was for 2021 was to create 10 layer cells for electric vehicle battery. The startup announced on November 16 that it made these batteries and they also presented great results. Welcome back, dear friends. This is Armin Hari. I'm from TorqueNews.com. Subscribe to our channel for daily electric vehicle important news. Unlike SES, QuantumScape did not reveal the amperage nor the mass of its 10-layer cells. It only said that they achieved more than 800 cycles at better than one hour charge rates at 25 Celsius uh, while retaining more than 80% of capacity. The independent tests with single layer cells presented capacity retention above 90%. Gustavo Rufo of Auto Revolution reported this news and says QuantumScape will keep increasing the number of layers its cells can have. To be honest, I don't remember how many layers they need to have a full battery, but it's increasing. According to the company CEO Jack Deep Singh, when it starts shipping test samples to Volkswagen in 2022, they should have a few dozen layers. In 2023, they will put in prototypes for real-world testing. If all goes well, Singh believes mass production may start in 2024. So in 2024, we may see solid-state batteries, electric cars, mass production. QuantumScape CEO already mentioned that cell expansion was a concern with lithium metal as the anode charging and discharging while uh, will make these cells swell and get back to their regular size. This is one of the reasons why having multiple layers is important to check how these batteries behave in the charging process. Another challenge will be how to mass produce these cells for electric vehicles en masse. SES said that it gave up on solid state technology because it would not be possible to put it in production lines. QuantumScape plans to do that with Volkswagen, possibly in Salzgitter, Germany, and in San Jose, where it, uh, it is building QS0, uh, the QuantumScape Zero. The pre-pilot line planned should be ready in 2022. It is not clear if QuantumScape will put its four-layer and 10-layer cells through independent testing. While this is important to show the market, it is not exaggerating its achievements that it has reported. The startup is probably not very worried about it. Volkswagen is its leading investor and it seems to be pretty satisfied with the results of QuantumScape. Its battery research, the lithium metal solids state platform has presented so far. So looks very interesting. I'm just wondering what happened to the test vehicle prototype that Toyota showed in Japan a couple of months ago. Um, I reported about it, you probably remember, where a car, electric car, was running and it said um, solid state battery on car, uh, giving us a hint that Toyota is already uh, testing an electric vehicle prototype with solid state battery in it. So I don't know where things are there right now. Toyota is not known to give a lot of information on these things. But this is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. Let me know your thoughts, friends. What do you think about QuantumScape getting ahead and not exaggerating things, but you know, getting good results and achieving the results at the end of in the beginning of November or mid-November uh, for the entire year and planning to start testing in 2022 with Volkswagen. Have a great day. Please subscribe to our channel for daily electric vehicle news. Give us thumbs up, please, and share in social media. I would greatly appreciate it, and I look forward to seeing you in our next Tesla or electric vehicle story. Let's move on to that, and God bless you, everyone. Good afternoon, friends. How is everyone? Hope you're having a good day. Today, there was an interesting conversation with Elon Musk about Tesla Semi, but it turned out about two constraints of Tesla. Tesla CEO Elon Musk was recently asked via Twitter about the Tesla Semi, which is delayed according to the official announcement, but at the same time expected to be delivered to PepsiCo this quarter. 
Elon Musk's answer is to not to put too much emphasis on that and that the company can't produce additional vehicles in volume. It clearly indicates that if there really will be some deliveries of the Tesla Semi, those will be small numbers, maybe pre-production or pilot deployment. But the conversation was more focused about two constraints that Tesla has and Elon Musk pointed them out that needs to be addressed. Welcome back, friends. This is Armin Haryan from TalkNews.com. Please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla discussions like this. So. This is how the whole thing happened. Tesla enthusiast named James Stephenson tweeted asking the CEO of saying the CEO of Pepsi said on TV that there is that he expects some Tesla semi deliveries on quarter four, but semi production won't start for another year. Uh, though right to this, Elon Musk responded saying, quote, please don't read too much into this. As mentioned publicly, Tesla is constrained by chip supply short term and sell supply long term not possible to produce additional vehicles in volume until both constraints are addressed so two constraints and tesla may do a couple of cars has a couple of tesla semis here and there but not volume so you see elon musk said also what the reason behind that two constraints first chip supply short term second battery cell supply long term especially with tesla semi and tesla semi will need long, bigger batteries so you guys have to wait until the 4680 batteries are in production and both have to be addressed to produce additional vehicles in volume think vehicles like the tesla semi tesla cybertruck tesla roadster and any upcoming new 4680 battery cell powered electric vehicles the chip supply bottleneck will probably ease with each quarter so this problem appears to be smaller that was the problem number one that was the constraint number one the second constraint the second problem however is uh, the one that will remain for us longer as well as for tesla maybe an entire decade and it will limit all electric car expansion in general for all or most brands batteries that would explain also why Tesla has extended the list of its battery supply from uh, solely mainly Panasonic to LG Chem's LG Energy Solution and Cattle, as well as uh, Tesla has started its own in-house battery cell development 4680 type at Cato Road um, facility. The demand is forecasted to be so high that all channels must utilize must be utilized and external 46a type suppliers are also welcome panasonic expects a contract from tesla soon of course the second reason to include new suppliers is the switch to the affordable lfp batteries panasonic does not offer them while cattle is um, is more than happy to sell them in volume to Tesla. That's what uh, Mark Kane from Inside EV thinks. He says there is one more thing. If the sales are not the short-term constraints, then it means that there is just enough supply of 1860 type batteries and 2170 type batteries, cylindrical cells from Panasonic and 2170 type from LG Energy Solutions uh, um, that match the to cheap um too much the cheap uh, constraints output probably i don't know but until tesla doesn't solve them we probably shouldn't expect them in volume but once giga Shanga, uh, gigafactory berlin and gigafactory austin start producing their own batteries we will see this second constraint easing a little bit as well uh, in fact you saw the, me reporting this morning about uh, the new construction at uh, gigafactory shanghai as elon musk it talks about the second concern as being battery concerns i'm thinking more and more that this may be a battery facility for tesla tesla may be building a battery facility in giga shanghai as the third phase of expansion goes on now has started look at my morning report on that friends if you haven't seen and uh, let me know your thoughts this is armin haryan from torquenews.com please subscribe to our channel for daily tesla news ring the bell so you don't miss my next coverage and having said this i want to maybe give toyota a little credit uh, that they, there was a news this morning which I reported that Toyota is developing uh, a plan to actually make uh, gas engines longer relevant. It's called Japan Team or Team Japan, Toyota's Team Japan. 
Um, maybe this is why they're doing this, because there is constraints of battery cells, and Elon Musk talks about that, so they understand that there will be still a huge market for um, gas cars. I would love to hear your thoughts. And this is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. Friends, subscribe to our channel and give us thumbs up. Follow us on Twitter. And God bless you, everyone. Peace be with all of you. Let's move on to the next story.